hello everyone. How you guys doing today? What's up? I'm Red and welcome back to a new episode of the Iron Man Profile. Today we're starting off with a mining fiesta. I got myself set up here on this uh, beautiful ruby root and uh, yeah, we're gonna get to mining in a second here. The fiesta is about to start. And there we go, the fiesta is underway. I'm actually kind of nervous. This lobby is not closed yet. And I don't want people interfering with my mining. So hopefully we don't get any any disturbances here. But anyway. Uh oh wait, my tree is not set. Oh no. Okay, quickly reset the tree. <laughs> I am not prepared. I am not ready for this right now. So our tree will be pretty standard. We'll have obviously the mining speed boost. And then at the top we're gonna have the standard U shape this server is dying right now oh my goodness it better not be like that during the entire fiesta and then i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, quickly put the powder in Alrighty, there we go all of my powder is now set up so uh, let's start mining and see how this goes the server is still a little dead but hopefully it fixes itself once it closes and people are unable to rejoin in so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna be mining Ruby. And uh, let's see how much money we can make from this. I just leveled up my mining. We are now mining 46 and I also got another skyblock level, which is pretty nice during this uh, fiesta. So, so far things are going pretty great. Alrighty, quick check in. So it's now been about an hour and 20, I believe, of the mining fiesta and I've been mining through it mostly. I had a little bit of downtime when I went to get myself a snack and some water and stuff. So probably take off like five minutes from there. And uh, we are now sitting, let me just mind this, we are sitting on two rows, so 18 stacks. Well, actually 20 stacks of fine ruby. I have no idea <laughs> if that's a lot or no, because I don't even know how much a stack sells for. But I think we're doing good. I've only been mining blocks as well and it's going pretty, pretty good. I'm still um, kind of getting used to it because I don't really know this route. It's like a public one. So uh, yeah, I um, I think I'm doing okay. But uh, we'll see once uh, the fiesta is fully done. But yeah, just wanted to quickly update a little bit. I also just remembered I will need four more flawless topazes to actually get a perfect on my artifact of power. So I'm probably going to work on that after the fiesta because I really do want to just money mine right now for the remaining part of this. So yeah, I think that's kind of the path that I want to take. I then continued mining and when there was an hour and 20 minutes left, there was a server restart. Yes, during a mining fiesta in a closed lobby with four people in it and nobody bothering me, there was a server restart for a game update. Thanks Hypixel, didn't want to mine anyway. But yeah, that, that really annoyed me so I, uh, I stopped mining. Uh, it is what it is. I did, what, four hours of mining and uh, that server restart really annoyed me because there was people in my lobby threatening to bomb stuff. So I had to deal with that already and then, yeah, it, it just was not fun. But anyway, if we put that aside, I think overall my mining fiesta was pretty successful. So uh, let's have a quick look into my ender chest, shall we? So as you can see, we have got quite a bit of ruby. So we've got a full ender chest page here and then another 12 stacks and a half over here, which I think is a decent amount for four hours of mining. So this in total makes it 57 stacks and a half and one stack sells for 1.2 million. So let's calculate this. All right, I did the calculations and I'm honestly very happy. All of this together is about 70.5 million and considering I only mined what four hours if even that that means that I make 17.6 ish mil an hour mining ruby on a route that I don't know without armadillo which I think is pretty good. Also, I obviously don't have a fully chambered Devon set yet. Also my artifact of power which we got in the previous episode doesn't have max uh, gemstones, so it doesn't have perfects or anything. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's very good. <laughs> I am very, 
very very happy with that so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and start selling it i am currently sitting on 11 million because i had to sell some enchanted melon blocks because i was kind of panicking that i wasn't gonna have money for my cookie which expires in a couple of hours so i went ahead and sold stuff and then uh let's go ahead and also sell all of this ruby so uh this should uh this should be very satisfying watching our number go up and this will also fund our next dungeon video, whenever that is going to be. So, uh, Giant Sword, please, thank you. <laughs> that would be very nice of uh, you, game, if you could give me that. But, oh my god, we're already sitting at 54 million. That's kind of crazy. Alright, here we go, the last bit, and... There we go, 81.8 million coins. Wow. Uh, our, uh, our bank is looking good, or our purse rather. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very, very happy right now. Like, if you can't tell, I am smiling. And we still have one more mining fiesta to go. But during the second mining fiesta, I'm going to be mostly mining amber. I'm also probably gonna go and mine the four flawless topazes that we need for the artifact of power. Which uh, I kind of forgot to mention I guess in the previous episode. But the reason why this artifact is so good is because it actually has a topaz slot. So the ring doesn't have it, but the artifact does. So uh, that's my main reason why I wanted to get the artifact. Because the more pristine you have, the more chances you have of triggering the pristine. Which basically just... Uh, gives you higher rarities of the gemstones that you're mining. I've decided on one more thing. I, I still have that one extra recom and uh, I think I'm gonna go and use it on the artifact of power. It's gonna be our first recom accessory if we don't count the ones that I got from Jerry for free for, from the rift wipe that I wasn't even a part of. So this is officially our first recom talisman and uh, yeah, it's just going to give us more mining speed, more mining fortune. So I think it's a win-win. So uh, yeah, I think, uh, I don't think it's a waste is all I'm going to say. So the next mining fiesta actually doesn't start for another 11 hours. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is uh, level up my mushroom cow pet because I haven't really done that yet. I farmed a little bit with it to the point where now it is level 74. But other than that, we still need to get it to level 100 so that I can apply that green bandana to it. So I'm going to go ahead and actually farm some mushrooms in hopes to get this final burrowing spore for our lotus bracelet over here. So uh, wish me luck and hopefully this doesn't take more than 11 hours for me to drop. I just dropped a burrowing spore. I was just thinking about checking my collection and I dropped it. What are the chances of that happening? Like, that's absolutely crazy. Let's see, what is my mushroom collection at? We are only at 7 million, 7.8. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's kind of crazy. I know some people in my guild were saying they needed, like, 20 or 40 mil even. And here I am with not even 10 mil. Oh. <laughs> but hey, we got it. That's something. And uh, we can now apply it to our final uh, equipment piece here. So there we go. It will cost us 150k and one of the burrowing spores. So uh, there we go. We now have rooted on all four of our uh, equipment pieces. And I also happen to have 3000 copper. So we can go ahead and buy the final two green thumb books for now which will put us to green thumb three on all of our equipment pieces so there we go if we combine them together and if we go ahead and also combine it onto the equipment itself it will cost us 131 levels once again and we now have green thumb three on the bracelet as well as everything else so and uh, now what we need is a bunch more copper but i think i'm gonna wait until i upgrade them to green thumb four and actually focus on some of the crop upgrades first so i already actually upgraded my sugarcane a while ago for 5,000 copper so it's now sitting at eight out of nine upgrades the next one is 10,000 copper, so that's gonna be after we get green thumb 5 probably. But I do wanna get some of these crops to tier 8, so for 5,000 copper for example, I wanna get melons because that's gonna be my main crop to farm for money at the moment, so I definitely wanna upgrade that. 
And then I'm gonna look into upgrading some of the other ones. And then we're probably gonna start uh, doing some composter upgrades as well, which I, I think I already mentioned in the previous episode. Because the upgrades are kind of bad. Like, I haven't done much to them. So uh, they, ha they have to be upgraded and uh, it, it costs a lot of copper. Everything costs copper. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's sort of uh, what we're gonna be working towards. And I also just got another flowering bouquet and that's my second one in like maybe half an hour. And <laughs> if we go to my island, um, because I don't reject visitors, I am kind of stuck <laughs> with, uh, yeah, half a double chest of flowering bouquets. Um, many, many, many XP boosts, and then the pet cakes as well, which I haven't used, so, uh, yeah, my chests are getting kind of stacked with random items that I'm getting from visitors. I'm still waiting for my overgrown grass, though, so please, game, please. I want it. One more, please. But anyway, I think that's gonna do it for today, so, uh... Next up we have another mining fiesta and then we have to start preparing for Mayor Derpy because I'm pretty sure he is the next mayor. So I hope you look forward to that and uh, until then I hope you enjoyed. If you did consider subscribing, maybe liking. Don't forget to join Discord down below and I hope you all have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever it is. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!